This is Tom and Paula Gray's from Light of Christ Radio. And we are here with a story that we hope will give you and your group light for the journey. Today we continue with our series of messages called God Steps in the Time as we turn to Luke chapter 1 verses 5 to 25. But before we tell you the story, we want to give you the context of the story. Our story happens in an air where no one has heard from the Lord for a long time. The Old Testament prophet Malachi was the last one to write down a prophecy from the Lord. It said, Look, I am sending you the prophet Elijah before the day of the Lord arrives. His preaching will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Then God was silent for 400 years. The people were longing for someone to come and save them from their troubles. It is at this time that our story happens. Now that you have the context of the story, simply listen to the story as we tell it. Close your Bibles and try to picture yourself in the story. Listen carefully because after the story is told, you'll be asked to retell the story. Don't worry. We think reading the text is important too. After retelling, you will get to read the text. And now, a story from the Word of God. When Herod was king of Judea, there was a priest by the name of Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth, Both had priestly ancestors. Both of them were good people and pleased the Lord God by obeying all that he had commanded. But they didn't have any children. Elizabeth couldn't have any. And both Zechariah and Elizabeth were already old. One day, Zechariah's group of priests were on duty, and he was serving God as a priest. According to the custom of the priests, he had been chosen to go into the Lord's temple that day and to burn incense, while the people stood outside praying. All at once, an angel from the Lord appeared to Zechariah at the right side of the altar. Zechariah was confused and afraid when he saw the angel, but the angel told him, Don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayers. Your wife Elizabeth will have a son, and you must name him John. His birth will make you very happy, and many people will be glad. Your son will be a great servant of the Lord. He must never drink wine or beer, and the power of the Holy Spirit will be with him, from the time he is born. John will lead many people in Israel to turn back to the Lord their God. He will go ahead of the Lord with the same power and spirit that Elijah had. And because of John, parents will be more thoughtful of their children. And people who now disobey God will begin to think as they ought to. That is how John will get people ready for the Lord. And Zechariah said to the angel, How will I know this is going to happen? My wife and I are very old. The angel answered, I'm Gabriel, God's servant, and I was sent to tell you this good news. You have not believed what I have said, so you will not be able to say a thing until all this happens, but everything will take place when it is supposed to. The crowd was waiting for Zechariah and kept wondering why he was staying so long in the temple. When he did come out, he could not speak, and they knew he had seen a vision. He motioned to them with his hands, but he didn't say a thing. When Zechariah's time of service in the temple was over, he went home. Soon after that, his wife was expecting a baby, and for five months she did not leave the house. She said to herself, I have lived with the disgrace of being barren for all these years. Now God has looked on me with favor. When I go out with my baby, I will not be disgraced any longer. And this is a story from the Word of God. Now that you've heard the story, try to retell it from what you heard, then read the text. Discussion questions are found below this video in the Show More section. We hope this time together blesses you this Christmas season. Merry Christmas from Light of Christ Radio.